Nobody can tell me that God is not patient. Cause girl, with you, he took his time. Hey guys, happy Friday. So I'm washing my wig today. Two of my wigs actually. So my deep wave on my SDD bone straights. They've been in my wardrobe for like the longest time so today i'm like you know what? i'm gonna wash this hair by the way something drastic happened to this my deep wave i went to a beach party one sunday like that and i was standing close to a standing fan and next thing the fan just dragged my wig out and it, it tore my lace but i had to stitch that but later on i'm gonna just change the whole thing right i'm either gonna buy a new wig or i'm just gonna change the closure again so for now i'm just managing it like that so this is me washing my hair so we're washing the lace whenever i apply shampoo to my hair to my lace i always go with a hard brush to brush it out so you have to be careful in this part because you don't want your lace to tear in the process <laughs> So while washing your wigs, always make sure that you rinse it so you can see the progress you've made. As you can see here, I just rinsed it and this is the progress I've made with the lace. And I decided to just go one more time just in case some of it can also come off. You can actually decide to just, you know, scrub it like you're washing a cloth, but be very, very careful. And then make sure you always crunch your curly wigs. Do not stretch them out. Do not stretch them out. And always when you're combing your hair, start from the bottom. To the top and when, when you get to the top make sure close to the lace make sure you're very very careful so your lace do not tear so yeah that's about that so apparently in this part i was conditioning my hair with my tresemme conditioner and you can see how i was scrunching my wigs together to absorb the the conditioner so yeah this is exactly how you do your hair do not be harsh on your hair then after applying your conditioner, make sure that you brush your hair. And I always use the detangling brush. You should everybody should have this. If you have a curly hair, you should always have this. Unless you do not like to style or revamp your hair yourself sometimes. Okay, so I'm moving on to the straight hair right now. And this is me washing the lace. Always start with your lace because if you start with your hair, like once you get to the lace part, like the dirt from the lace is always gonna like go down to the hair and then you've already washed the hair i don't know if you guys understand what i'm saying but yeah this is literally what it's about and always be careful with the lace be careful with the lace detangle slowly and be caution that is how you wash your wigs <laughs> guys when washing your hair this is definitely the last step you're going to take me personally i like to use very very hot water to rinse my hair finally because i like the result that i get when my hair dries I really like to take my time with this curly hair because curly hairs are very very dramatic because straight hairs they barely have issues but you see curly hairs like if you do not treat them well they are going to like look like you're going to look like a mad person like when you wear it <laughs> so this is why i'm taking my time to make sure that this hair absorbs this hot water so that when it dries it's going to look so yummy guys i'm going to show you when it dries so my straight hair is ready though but i have to like you know make sure it's dry properly and not wet then i comb thoroughly again close to the closure make sure you're careful and all that stuff you know but my curly hair i really do not need to comb it or anything i just need to like you know scrunch it and make sure that the water the water in it is like minimal that's all
This white horse is so pretty. Oh my gosh, looks like a unicorn. Good morning. Thank you. Oh, this is so pretty. Why is he running away?